Hey guys, it has been a while since we've been outside, so I thought I would show you our kind of finalized new chicken coop and then some of the concerns about the birds. Okay, so here is our finished coop. Uh, I probably could touch up and paint some places, but Juan added on this little outside portion so that the chickens can come out and walk down rather than like dropping through the floor of the coop. And then we actually transferred these three birds down here to this one. They were originally in our old coop and obviously they wanna go back and see their friends, but this is big enough for them. And these are the three that are like consistently laying nice eggs. So we want them to teach the other birds, the babies, uh, kind of what to do. I don't think these watering things were here the last time. So Juan made this nice watering system for the birds and they just kind of peck at the little nipples and get the water that way. And the babies are kind of terrified of these older birds. So they're all hiding in here. And as you can see, they have greatly changed from the last time. Now we are worried that this one is a rooster. Uh, if you look at its comb, there's kind of like three rows to the red rather than like one little row like this hen right here. And I'm most disappointed about that because that was one of the chickens that was supposed to lay blue eggs. This is kind of the sister and you can kind of see the comparison. Her, her comb is much less red and not as big as her counterpart. That one also does crow a lot of the time, so pretty sure we got a rooster when it was supposed to be a like, you know, 95% chance we got all females. But yeah, these guys are all hiding from the older hens because they are younger and terrified. So it's really bright out here. I was actually doing yard work right before filming this, so that's why I'm all gross, but in this coop and in the other one, we've actually had a mouse problem or mice problem. Um, we've gotten and had to catch a lot of mice. Juan was even saying like, we should get a backyard cat just for that reason to take care of that problem for us. But we have a bunch of different traps all around. It's just mainly like, we don't want them to eat the chicken's food. And also they kind of make a mess. So that is something that we've had to deal with. And then these other birds at this other coop, you can see them here. So this one is chocolate. And if you look at her feathers, let's see if I can focus it in on there. She's missing a whole lot. And there was one day where like I came outside and she was just bleeding. And I'm not sure if it's because she cut herself or because they plucked out the feathers. Hey, Vanilla, you're kind of photobombing lady. Um, yeah, so she was bleeding a lot and I tried to put some cornstarch on it to try to, you know, stop the bleeding, but thankfully, you know, she's still alive and she is the only one of these four, well, no, I take that back. Her and Chickadee, the meat chicken up on the hill up there, uh, they occasionally lay eggs. Chocolate laid an egg today, but not Chickadee. Vanilla, you can kind of see her butt feathers over here are kind of missing. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry, I'm looking at your booty. Um, she, I believe, is just putting all her energy to making new feathers, and that's why she hasn't been laying eggs. Same with cookies and cream right there. Uh, you know, she hasn't been laying very many eggs, and she's kind of missing a lot of feathers uh, on her neck as well. I'm pretty sure this feeder is new from the last time that we checked in. Juan built this based off something I saw online. Occasionally the chickens hit the food out, unfortunately, when they're eating and make a mess, but they will clean it up if there's not a lot of food left. So at least this can hold a lot to limit how many times we need to come out here and refill it. But these guys just love playing with our chickens. Huh, Bubby? Can you say chicken? Me. Chicken? You love your birdies, huh? I love birdies. Huh? <laughs> hey, boy, oh, you that's a popsicle. Home. No, no, no. Yeah, it's very hot out here. So we are enjoying some yogurt popsicles. But that is kind of like the little summary of our chicken issue. The babies, although I'm gonna call them teenagers now, uh, they should start laying eggs, hopefully in the coming, I wanna say four or five weeks. 
if we're lucky, maybe a little bit longer, but I'm so excited to get those blue eggs and I'm so sad that it's now probably only gonna be three instead of four blue eggs a day. And I'm gonna come over here out of the sun to finish talking about the possible rooster situation. So I haven't done some, I haven't done a much reading about this, but I did talk with a friend who also has chickens Sorry if it's really loud around here. Anyways, I talked with a friend who also has chickens and he said that even if you have a rooster and the eggs get fertilized, if you collect the eggs and then therefore not have them- I'm done You're all done. If you don't let the eggs get incubated or have like a chicken sit on them, then they're not gonna progress and you really can't more, tell- more popsicle. more popsicle. You can't really tell that the egg is fertilized anyways. So instead of turning useless junior into dinner or lunch, we may just keep the rooster. Maybe he'll serve as protection for the birds in our backyard when they're free ranging. But, and then if, if maybe if one of our hens becomes broody, which is when they wanna like incubate eggs themselves, maybe we can hatch some of our own eggs and have him mate with the uh, brown egg laying hens to create kind of maybe an olive acre, which lays like greenish Can eggs. So anyways, that is a possibility. I don't know how long we will keep a rooster. I don't really want to have a rooster, but I'm considering it knowing that we can still eat the eggs, that they won't be noticeable or noticeably different from the non-fertilized eggs. Yes, thank you. <laughs> anyways, just to kind of wrap up that thought, I don't even remember how I left it off. But I might be okay with keeping the rooster because we might want to create chickens that lay different colored eggs um, or just to have a, as protection. But yes, you're all done. But it might become dinner, to be honest. Anyways, that's gonna wrap up our little update video. Aubrey, do you wanna say goodbye or say something to our audience? Uh huh. What do you wanna say? Don't forget to like this video. And if you guys are new, I'd love it if you stick around and subscribe. I'm not usually this sweaty and disgusting on film. Uh, and you know, I cover a lot more than just chickens. We do a lot of motherhood stuff and I have some baking videos coming up. So it's going to be a lot of fun and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.